we are approaching some very interesting times on Kalibishi Chronicle where we start speaking about things that we did and things that we had, things that we caught and things that we did not catch. So I mean I may not necessarily be able to say everything that everybody catch, like Tikwaba. <laughs> but we will leave that for some other time. I think Tikwab was also known as Mopio and there was something called Pines. I'm not too sure what's the scientific name but all of these were part of the conditionality. At the time, I don't think there, there's Pines anymore in any part of Calibishi for sure and, and certainly hopefully not in Dominica. Pasque on Pines Paisi. For those of you who have not experienced a penis bite, do not pray for it. They say child birth is tough, but bon Dieu, a penis is not you when it bites you, boy. <laughs> and the sad thing is that some people used to come to school with penis running over there. Anyway, leave that alone, eh? Before I start calling names here and I get myself in trouble on this Calibishi Chronicle episode. So we're going to be talking about Glan, Fuli, Carbuncle, Boil, bugo. Well, that's what we call it, bugo. Some when you get a a, a calash on your head, and uh, a lot of fellas used to get bugo because we used to throw things around, and fellas used to get hit, fellas used to fall and hit the head. A lot of things, carbuncle, fully, and, and and those boil and those things, we got them too because people used to walk around without shoe. I mean, shoes was a luxury. I had one pair of shoes for Sunday and one razad. Not even Razad, a Chinese shoe. The Razad was to play my sports. The Chinese shoe was for school. And I had a brown pair of shoes for church and other formal functions. That's how we roll. That's it. And I was even lucky at that stage to have three pairs of shoes, you know. Generally, it is one pair. And that one pair works for all occasions. I mean, having two pairs, three pairs, four pairs, five pairs, ten pairs. 15 pairs of shoes is a luxury. One pair of dress pants that what the average boy in the village had, and probably two school uniform pants, or one and two or three school uniform shirts that you have to wash. So when you come from school on the Monday, you wash the shirt, you put it to dry on the wire, you use the other one that you have that you use a, 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 an iron that you put on coal, the real iron. And you use candle to wax it and then you wipe that down cleanly. Clean. So you have a clean surface. If you don't wipe the candle wax clean, you can do it to your clothes. Anyway, so you use a shirt. You wash it, you put it to dry. You have to do it to your, yourself. Your mother will do it for you. She show you how to wash under the arm, behind the neck. Make sure it is washed properly and you hang it. So when you come from school, hopefully, well, you hang it out after school. So before you go to sleep, you have to remember to put in your shirt. If it's not dry properly, it's so away. You put it, you hang it on the back of a chair. Next morning, you put it outside. And when you come back from school, it's your job to pick up your shirt. Because if you have two shirts, by this time it's Tuesday, Wednesday, come, you need another shirt to go to school. So that clean shirt that you wash, that's what you have to use. So that's how we got through to school. I think two shirts and one pant. So the pants sometimes stay the whole week. For boys, I don't know too sure about the girls and their skirt, but my pants did me an entire week and I wash my pants on a Friday and I go to go again on Monday. And I had two shirts, so we, we recycled the shirts. No shoes. That's why we had carbuncle or fully or boil. Now, these different ailments had different names for different reasons. I think the fully was more when a stone squeeze you had. The fully was deeper. The carbuncle was a bit more surface. And the boil was endemic of some other problem. I'm not too sure whether it was related to you squeezing your foot per se. And the issue of stump toe was another tradition. All boys would have stump toes. One to three fourths stump toes on one foot. Because remember, we have no shoes. And we use our toes and feet to do everything, including playing football, playing cricket, playing hide and seek, playing hoops away. At the end of the day, your cure for those things and also for your bruises that you would get is to go and soak in the sea. That was the major way we made for those um, conditions. 
And on the next episode, I will tell you about the other we may D and them we used to use to heal ourselves from the problem, including worms that we'd get every Easter, well, every summer. Worms from eating mangoes, taking mango, go up, just picking up mango on the ground, wiping that on your shirt and biting your mango and enjoying your mango. So, of course, worms will fester in your internals. And then I will talk about what we had to drink to make the worms pass and when the worms pass what we had to do but that will come up on the next episode here on Calibishi Chronicle.